Hi, I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. I'm recording this message on uh, about 1230 or so on Thursday, December 15th. It will be available to you later today. Uh, this has not been a great week. Uh, the car theft that happened on, on our property on Monday has left us all feeling vulnerable. We should be enjoying the holiday season and this event is lingering in the back of our minds. Since the theft occurred, I've spoken with the resident three different times. The first time was Monday afternoon, shortly after she had finished her report with the police and her son and daughter were with her. The second time was later that afternoon, just before I left work for the day, just wanting to check in and see how she was doing. And the third time was yesterday, uh, Wednesday, when she told me that she had news from the police. Her car had been found in Illinois, uh, but it had been uh, totaled, uh, so a total loss on her vehicle. The person who committed this crime had been arrested, and the police shared with her that he had been stealing cars since 2017. I told the resident that I truly admired her strength and the way that she responded to this crime against her. Since she's been very she has been very logical in what, uh, what needed to happen, calling the police immediately, contacting her family, canceling credit cards, and just carrying on. I am trying to live up to that standard that, that she set. Think back to five days ago. We all went to bed Sunday night, and we did so with a sense of security. None of us were afraid of the covered parking garage. There had never been an incident in the 24 years that that parking garage has existed. Unfortunately, our world is different in 2022. I'm thankful that the incident ended without physical harm to our resident, and we will learn from this incident. Whatever reasonable improvements and changes we can make will be made. Some are relatively simple, like improving the lighting in the uh, covered garage uh, during the day. Others will take more investigation, thought, investment, and time to implement. I've asked a risk management specialist from our insurance company to tour our campus with me and share his ideas for what could improve our security and we have asked the police to increase their patrols around our campus. Hopefully you're seeing that. My belief is that this was a very unfortunate one-time event. As I shared in my communication on Monday, nothing like this had ever happened in the 23 years that I have worked here. I hope and pray that it never happens again. The person who did this was intent on stealing a car on Monday and has been arrested. All our doors are covered with cameras, and the video footage that we shared with the police helped them identify this criminal. Monday night, when I got home from work, I told April that I didn't want to be in charge anymore. That's the first time I've truly felt that way since I started this role over six years ago. We all want to feel safe in our own homes, and this incident violated that sense of security. Ultimately, I take responsibility for the environment that allowed this incident to happen. It's a responsibility that I've seriously been considering whether I want to have any longer. My personal belief is that no one can fully ensure our safety because the world is not a fully secure place. If that is the expectation, we will fail. We can learn from events and take reasonable steps to improve and I promise you that I will do my best to do that. On a much more positive note, I want to tell you about our support of Project Holiday. Our Oakmill staff have volunteered for this annual effort at the Community Food Pantry for many years. We've had teams of volunteers at the, at the Food Pantry this week, and this morning it was my turn. It was fun to welcome guests into the stock shelves of the food pantry and do a small part in helping to feed a lot of families in our area who need some assistance at this point in their lives. Spending time in that environment 
or helping out at the free lunch program always helps me to more fully appreciate the blessings I have in my life. A great relationship with my wife of 35 years, a growing family of kids with spouses and new puppies, and a job in which I feel valued and appreciated. I'll give you a very brief COVID update. There are currently no employees out due to COVID. And until this morning, uh, I was not aware of any residents with COVID either. I did uh, hear, hear from a resident via email fairly early this morning that they had tested positive. So we do have one resident right now who is COVID positive and is quarantined in their apartment. And finally, I want to congratulate all our health center staff, nursing administration, and human resource department on getting through our state inspection with zero deficiencies. That is always the goal, and we've accomplished it for two of the past three inspections. So great job to our team. I hope you're able to enjoy the holiday season. I will be back with the message uh, the week between Christmas and New Year's. See you then.